walking around, guys, I'm walking around the great downtown Wilmington area. I love, this is one of my favorite cities, at least in North Carolina. Um, I, I try to come here. I've been here, I don't know, five, six times probably. But uh, yeah, but let's, let's walk around and check some of this uh, city out. There's a lot of cool places to see. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I, I had to get some footage of this Cape Fear Spirits and Beer. Look at Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein having a martini together. Here is the famous Bellamy Mansion that is said to be haunted. See, I probably didn't make it to see it. I've been doing so much stuff, I didn't get to do the tour, but... Ah, oh, look at that old cast iron fence. I was probably there a long time ago. Yeah, it being Sunday, it probably, you know, opened in the morning and probably closed at 3. Oh, so they begin with the visit. Okay. Maybe, you know, Halloween might be better. As you can see, some of the uh, very intricate work up there. And it's said to be, you know, it's said to be haunted because of uh, different things that went on here. I'm sure many people probably died here. This is also in the air from what I said, uh, the, the, the Gallows Hill. Back in the 17 and 1800s, uh, there were uh, people hanged in this area of Wilmington. Um, I don't know with this house particularly, but, but in this area. My legs are aching from just miles of walking. I'm, I will. When I finally get back home, it, it's uh, late. It's getting to be in the evening of Sunday. I've been here on the East Coast since Thursday. I like the, the green shutters are pretty. This house is definitely antebellum style architecture for the time. Or, or classical revival I, uh, antebellum architecture. I guess I think classical, it would be class, classical revival. I think that's right. You know, of course, back then, yeah, you know, Victorian and this style architecture was prominent on beautiful house. I guess you could, you could say upscale houses. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Porsche Boxster. Uh, nothing, nothing better than the sound of great German engineering. I love the sound of a Porsche going down the street, but, uh, or changing gears. <laughs> Let's get down a little further. I have something I want to show you. Here's the Barbary Coast where the Dennis Hopper film Blue Velvet was filmed in 1986. And uh, it was used as Frank's, it was Frank's lounge in the film. And that little, uh, that neon, this is it, can be seen in the film. And, uh, you know, some of this facade. I don't know, I think maybe, was there something else? There was something else that was, I don't know if it's been changed. This is the oldest bar in Wilmington though. Yeah, that's it, it says there. 72 years old or something here's some uh, here's a little placard for the bill okay so the buildings over a hundred but the bars uh... oh, look at that voodoo hey well this is kind of this is a dark city a lot of dark stuff here kind of a lot of gothic but I guess any big cities like that well New Orleans has definitely got a lot of dark uh, you know voodoo witchcrafty stuff that's what they're into, I guess. Haiti, very Haiti-inspired uh, traditions. He's a big fan of Charlie Brown's Christmas. It's another bar, I presume. I presume. <laughs> kind of cool. Looks like the bar's empty. Bar way back there, so I was kidding. I said, somebody's gonna come in and just rob y'all. <laughs> the beautiful architecture of these old buildings. I mean, some of them are just magnificent.
they don't build buildings like like look look at that something that's modern compared to that architects archi from way back then just had a genius about them today's architecture is kind of boring and blah there's another that looks fairly modern too it could be i mean it could do, that could date back to the 1930s or 40s but not as old as that though okay this was the the Merchants of national bank building built in 1914 almost 110 years ago renovated in 1985 but uh i would i would assume that to be federalist style architecture i mean i know i know a little bit about architecture history but i'm not uh i haven't mastered it yet i mean by any means but i do know a few there's the the poor uh the poor house tap room i had a, i had a blast there this time last year for the final four watching duke and unc oh man it, uh, it was packed um it's kind of different you pay uh so much money like 15 bucks or something and you get a bracelet and then you you just go up to whatever beer you want and you you put the bracelet up to it's like uh a device and it opens up the and it's and you can pour that that particular beer whatever beer you want you just put it up to that particular beer then it pours it once you um activate the uh the, <laughs> the device or whatever all of these old lanterns are always kind of cool you can always look down the hill to the cape fear river and see the uss north carolina that's kind of cool um okay i didn't know cape fear community college i know they have a theater program but they also have broadway plays here kind of like Deepak in durham where i live and you know near durham but uh there's annie I, the only Broadway play I've ever seen is The Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, Chicago. But The Grinch Stole Christmas was a lot of fun. I saw like, you know, five, I don't know, about five years ago, or, you know, obviously around the holidays, but. Here's some, um, here's some uh, photographs of the old Bajou. 1920. <laughs> Opens a tent on this side in 1906. Wow. And then in 1912, they opened its doors to the first to the public as an actual theater, indoor theater. You can see the One Tree Hill Bridge, right where that car is passing. The one the, that looks like a train trestle, not that one. Maybe it was a train trestle at one time. But that's the Montreal Bridge. Goody. 